let me get myself situated. I just got back from vacation in Washington, D.C. And I'm with my buddy Rob over there. And let's see. We got Phil over here and we got Jeff. Is that blur? Here, hold on. Jeff's out there. Yeah, Andy who? <laughs> I'm going Deus today. And uh, that's not meant as a slight on the Manticore. You know, I, I love the Manticore. Um, I was just locking in with the Deus when um, the Manticore came out. And, you know, I want to get back to that. And first thing that I learned with the Deus, what's up, everybody? is um, you have the ground grab. So you wanna go over, this is a quiet part of the ground. All right, 76 is the ground grab. <laughs> Tuning this thing, man. Now you ground balance. What's up? Hey, Willie, Blasted Cat, Wayne, Brenda. Hi, everybody. 49 in here already? Oh, my goodness. Got a big field. I pulled silver here the other day and came back to see if we could pull some more. So, anywho, the other thing I like uh, about the day is I like it for live streaming because you can hear the beeps and I can wear my headphones. So, uh, that is uh, part of the reason that I'm really... Uh, Perhaps when I live stream, use the dais, because uh, the manticore, there's nothing uh, that you could hear the signals, and I've had to take off my headphones. And basically, you do better when you have your headphones on. Uh, I truly believe that. So we're back, and, uh, you know, down in this direction, I got some silver, but this is all new spot, you know, and we got a bunch of detectorists here, so I think one of us is uh, bound to... I think we're all bound to pull something good. So anyway, hope everybody's well. And it's been a minute since I've released a video. It's been like seven days, which is like unheard of because I've been pretty prolific lately with the videos, but uh, took a vacation. That was nice and uh, back to it. Now there, on this site, here we go. That's exactly what I'm looking for. There's a mix of uh, fill and native dirt. But I got my first good signal. 95, 96. Down to the 80s. All right, let's dig. Hi, James. Yes, thank you. I needed a week break. It was getting intense between work. No, don't go that way. All really bad fill dirt. All bad fill dirt? Okay, I'm live streaming here. Yeah. So, Jeff, I pulled the silver back that way yeah, by the big tree. Yep. And I got a good signal here, and it feels like I'm digging into good dirt. Below the plug. I think I actually see it. Yeah, unfortunately. Bottle cap. Let me check the hole. And as you can see down here, yeah. Got some fill dirt, sadly. Still gonna look around just right over by the trees. I was able to see, yeah, I was able to get some silver. So, anywho, on to the next.
112 in here already? Jeez. What an honor. Thank you. And thanks for those 16 likes. That helps my channel grow. I found the silver here right before I went on vacation, and this is all I could think of. I did move around that day, and there's a lot of fill in other places. But it's here. Now the one spot I see a huge advantage with the manticore, power lines, around power lines. Deus is workable. This is looking like more natural dirt over here. But we just gotta find our little niche here. It's an interesting place. There was a seam where I was getting wheat scents and old buttons. And in a minute, I'll get you over uh, to meet some of the guys. Or maybe we can wait until they find something. But I want to get back on that seam where the silver was. I'm hearing iron, which I take as a good thing. 92. And let's actually... No, it's this one. Audio... Program... Oops, I just gotta go back. Audio, select... Equalizer, here we go. This is where you switch to square tones. This is where, what can really, really help. So now square tones, let's listen to this signal. I could hear this pretty clearly. I'm gonna guess this is a can. Not that uh, I wanna dig up junk in the live stream, but this sounds a little bit bigger. And square tones could let you hear that. To me, that's a difference maker. The Manticore, the Manticore has enhanced audio, which is kind of the same thing. Okay, not a can. Interesting. Bigger object, though. That's something that can be older. Interesting. Anybody have any idea what this is? I don't know. Okay, on to the next. Let's put this back. On to the next. I'm actually glad I dug that, because that seemed to be dated um, a little bit earlier.
This is a double sound to it. If in doubt, you dig it. And coming off of that last signal, which surprised me, my guess is this is a pull tab. This is something that's gonna be smaller, you know, coin sized or smaller. Below the plug, Okay, let's test this again. Still there. Seems to be centered. Could be over here. All right, we definitely centered this and so got something deep. Interesting. Nothing with the pinpointer. Wow. Okay. Let's pinpoint here. Wow. With the days, you go deep, so let's. Does not seem to be around. Nothing on the walls. I pinpointed it was centered. This is what you get yourself into when you have a deep metal detector. Or could it be my shoes, like that meme? <laughs> What's up, Luis? How are you? Oh, here we go. We're deep. We are deep. Whatever this is, this is, uh, I'll show you with the pinpointer in a second. Oops, sorry. That's got to be a great view as I hit it with the uh, shovel. Man, it probably is big iron. Okay, look how deep that is. It 
it's something big for sure. <laughs> That's not going to be a coin right there. Let's see. No, that's something that's big. All right. Let's clean it up. And piece this back together. Let's put those in the last. Shoe buckle? Oh, we got a buckle. Oop. Okay, let's pound this and get over to check out my friend's shoe buckle. Hey, keep it out, Phil. I'm live streaming. All right, like we were never there. Let's go. Let me keep that there. There's old stuff here. There's no question about it. Bill, did you keep it out? The buckle? There we go. Still damp. Still damp. <laughs> Look at that. It's a live take, don't worry. There you go. Good stuff, buddy. All right. Yeah, man. There you go. Something good. Man. Yeah, so we got old stuff here. We just got to stumble on it. Stumble upon it, not stumble on it. You know. Thank you so much for the 75 likes. Helps my channel grow. All right, where were we? What I wanted to check was the tree lines back here. All of the silver that I pulled the other day was uh, right along, right by the trees. Surface, I'm gonna skip that. Okay, this is something that's big. Yeah, I see it right there. But my point is that you can tell with the uh, square tones. I love that feature on the dais. We got an old soda can. 
All right, so now this is out of the ground. <laughs> One less thing that future detectorists have to worry about. But I just wanted to show you, um, like this is really helpful. I would have normally skipped something like that. But this was really helpful um, to hear the size of it. Like I know pretty early if it's something big or not. And there's a difference in sound between a ring. Look at this, we got some uh, roots exposed here. So this is an area that has not been filled in. There's a difference in sound of a ring and a coin when you're at the beach. And it helps with that. So thankful to have uh, 260 people in here and 113 likes, thank you. This might be a coin. Or this might be a medium-sized target. I'm gonna lean towards medium-sized target. It wasn't as clear as the, uh, as the can. Ah, here we go, medium-sized target, look at that. That's what square tones will get you. Bottle caps, oh yeah. Now, the, the uh, Manticore has enhanced audio, it's the same thing. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be a coin. 90. I can tell by the size of the beep, the duration of the beep. I'm guessing wheat scent for this one. I'm inferencing that of course, based on the target ID. But uh, when I was here the other day, at about this depth, um, there were a whole bunch of wheat scents. This might be a little bit higher then. It's a memorial, great. Hey, thank you, Jason. I appreciate that. Oh, I didn't get a date on that, did I? Well, it was a copper memorial that goes till 1982. I would say that that's probably 70s or 60s. Not that you, I mean, you could get really old stuff at almost surface. That's the truth, but Similar signal, 90-91, similar signal. Jeez. Oh, jeez. 
Okay, seems to want to move this way. It's connected to a root. And I just affected everything down here. Great, okay. Okay, here we go. So we're down about six to seven inches. It's gonna be seven by the time we dig. I see it. Another memorial. All right, let's get a date on this one since I forgot last time. Nineteen seventy-five. Mm. So that's eleven years off of uh, where American silver starts uh, ends, rather. All right. Let's see. This is another one. I don't know if you could hear the difference. That's gonna be a can. Surface, no. Yep, got something? Uh-oh, cheesecake has been unlocked. Oh, snap. Yes, sir, skeleton key, look at that. Yes, sir. Oh, that's epic. I love these. Yeah, they're cool. My mother actually has them in her house, though. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I have an attic in my house that has a skeleton key. Look at that. There we go. It's here, folks. It's here. All right. Hey, man, pound that. And let me introduce. This is Rob. So Rob's, uh, you know, Rob's very close uh, to where I am and he reached out and we detect now. So that's Rob, everybody. Let's go. Nice job. It's here. This is like grown up Easter egg hunting. <laughs> What's that? We go get cheesecake now. We get cheesecake now. Yes, it's officially been unlocked by you. I'm not worthy of cheesecake right now. What we're referring to, I used to have unlocks on my channel. I'll probably sneak a few in, you know, here and here and there. But every time somebody found a key, cheesecake is unlocked. something big I'm looking for those quiet ones that's something huge Something huge.
let's give you a little bit of a view of the land. You know, Long Island is old farms, you know, tons of old farms, you know, for its, its almost entire history. And, uh, you know, because of New York City, people began moving out here. And, uh, you know, a lot of these farms have already disappeared and uh, more, you know, are in the state of disappearing because uh, real estate values and such. Uh-oh. That's what I'm talking about. Don't even know if you hear that. Little whisper. This is gonna be something old. At least wheat scent. Could be silver. This is the best signal of the day. Now we got some. We are on the wheat. Wheat scent. That was eh, nine inches down. Let's see if we could get a year on it. I will always take wheat. Um, hold on. Nineteen fifty. How about that? Let's go. Okay. And you can see the fill in here. This is mixed in with it. I think that uh, they put stuff over the original ground and you gotta really listen to the whispers. All this area, there could be, could be walking over lots of silver. I was reading an old metal detecting book and uh, what the old timers would do, the first generation of metal detectorists, is they would look for really compacted ground. This is the opposite of it. This is loose, airy. Hasn't completely settled yet. And it carries a better signal when it's compact, plus it doesn't sink as much. And it's not even a question of uh, only sinking, it's a question of what gets put over it. New York's got to make their ground look great. Whatever, New York. Let's 
see if we could get another whisper signal. Because that's exactly what... the first two were. Three fifteen in the house. Thank you. Hi, Tony. Hey, thanks for the hundred sixty three likes. surface I think I should have stayed longer in that spot where I found the uh, wheat scent we could always go back But sometimes you just get a call in your head to move. That's what's happening. something big yeah there's something about the compacted ground it carries the signal you know the pulses from the detector it seems to carry that better So far, if you just joined us, we've pulled, not me, uh, my friends have pulled uh, a buckle and a skeleton key. So we're on good ground. I'm looking for those whisper signals. Let me go back to where that was. What's up, David? Hey, history revisited. Sorry if I'm not narrating, I'm trying to really concentrate here. You really don't need the box with the dais. That's what I love about the dais. Like I'm to the point now where I could really just go without the box. My only question is how do you pinpoint? Not that I pinpoint often. But really you just need the headphones and that's all and the coil this is interesting
it's showing deep on the screen. I'm not convinced it's deep. It's showing an 84 on the screen. Yeah, we're gonna dig this. I could feel the rocks that I'm digging into. Definitely not ideal. But again, the other day I got two. Oh my goodness, John, thank you. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Still here. And this is deeper than I thought. Yeah, it's down here. Yeah, that's deeper than I thought. With room to go. So we're talking maybe about seven inches down. This just had an odd sound. Here we go. What in the world is this? Okay. Here we go. 84. What are you? Let's give it a little cleaning. That's what pants are for. And let's zoom in. My God. You know what this is? This is a ping pong paddle for a mouse. This is how mice play ping pong. Actually, if anybody knows what this really is, please put it in the comments. Key, interesting. Top of a key. Whoa. Oh, watch winder. Watch fob. Cool. I remember the, some, the first time somebody told me that. Oh, it's a watch fob. I'm like, it's not a watch and don't call me fob. Okay? Okay? <laughs> cool. All right, we found something good. Fan for a mouse, right. That's what I'm thinking. Mice living in luxury and living it up. Look at that. Look at that. I could feel the breeze. Yeah. Anyway, this is a good opportunity to say hi and answer some questions. If you got questions, you could just say, hey, Merrill, you're a dork. You know, and that would be entirely appropriate. I've been getting that my entire life. So, yeah. Let me say hi to people. Rebellion 111, what's up? Tunnel, that's a great name. Porterer? Tunnel Porterer. <laughs> What's up, John? How are you? Yes, next time. I remember uh, John was going to be here today, but he said he couldn't on Sunday. I think he's in his store. Um, that's J Zone. That's John. Paul Warren. What's up? I can't wait to get my Nexus, Paul. Love the videos. Everybody check out Paul Warren's channel. Um, David asked, uh, how was DC? DC was epic. I got a video coming out. I think I'm going to make that come out next. Even though I've got like five or six films before this, I'm going to make that one come out next uh, because we found really good stuff. Hello from Finland. What's up? Oh, we are like international. That is so cool. That, that uh, makes me very happy. Debbie and Gary Detect, what's up? Oh, sand scoops available. They're being made right now. Um, yeah, I, it's like days before I make the announcement. But yes, you heard it here first. Uh, the next round of honey badgers. I just got another 25. And uh, yes, they will be available very soon. Oh my God, you guys think I could read fast? I can't read fast. Jeez. What's up, beach junkies? Peter Pete, what's up? Ben, what's up, man? I've enjoyed your comments. 
Jamie, what's up? Oh, 80s in Florida, I can't wait. I think the plan is to go down in August and I'm pushing the London trip uh, back perhaps to December. Piper Warrior, Carolyn, George, Rockin, Siesta, what's up? 70 MPG, She Digs, what's up? Joseph Buddha, what's up? Oh my goodness. I'm not used to this coming in this fast. <laughs> All right. What's up, Mark? How are you? Find a treasure box. Yeah, the archaeologue does that every single time. I'm celebrating the little mouse fan. <laughs> archaeologue found uh, eight. It didn't really find eight uh, treasure boxes, but anywho, that's metal. No, I was going to say that's metal detecting. No, that's not metal detecting. Hold on. All right, let's fix this hole. And I'll do that again. Thank you. I, I couldn't believe... You know, I've been live streaming for a long time. It used to be I'd have like a handful of people in here and commenting, and it was easy to read every single comment. We've grown. We've grown, and I'm thankful. So uh, thank you for that. And uh, yeah, let's get some more mice fans. That would be great. Yeah, that was an odd sounding one. Deus, you could find out so much by sound, man. I'm telling you, I love this detector. And this is not a slight at the manticore. Um, I've tried to be fair with that. I'm questioning, um, you know, if the depth is going to be uh, significantly more than the equinox, but I'm not saying that it's not a good detector. Oh, this is another interesting one. It's got a little blip to it also. All right, let's dig this. Yeah, so manticore I like a lot. Um, I love the equinox, as I'm sure you know. And I'm just trying to like honestly gauge and guide people. Uh, I'm like, okay, if you're going for depth and separation, equinox has that. Um, I'm challenging the marketing on it, on the manticore a bit, um, which is more finds, more depth, well, this is below also more power more finds more depth and i'm not saying it's a bad detector but i am saying i think every bit that you could get with the um manticore you could get with the equinox with the exception and this is my current hypothesis of smaller objects got another deep one another nine incher I'm guessing that this is something that's small. Sorry. This is going to be deeper than that. Now, I heard a little blip to it. No guarantee that this is not a piece of iron. We're down to it. This is a deep one. I'll say this, this is a little bit more localized than that last signal that we went to China with.
No, I take that back. <laughs> if it is a coin, you think I scratched it? Team Lynch. You know, Team Lynch, I gotta tell you something. I just joined your metal detecting club. So, uh, Staten Island history hunters, I don't know if Lou told you, but I'm looking forward to meeting you, buddy. Thank you so much. Looking forward to meeting Team Lynch. Okay. I think this hole is, uh, let's give it one more shot. Oh no, really, really? Well, I don't think that's Cam's law. It's not gonna be worth getting. <laughs> so let's put that back. Ni hao to our friends in China. And let's put this back. And this is where weighing 230 pounds comes in. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Of course, 50 pounds of that is brain, but yeah, it's not really. <laughs> Let's find more mouse fans. I like that. FYI, I'm having a very slow ring year this year. Rings are my favorite thing to pull. And all of the beaches around, around me have been dredged. Dredging is a horrible thing. I mean, yes, it protects the shorelines, I know. Protects it a little too much. <laughs> But the summer's coming. Anything? All right. It's a suspender clip. Whoa. So this is uh, Jeff's brother-in-law, Phil. Hello, everyone. And he's having a good day with the uh, the old history shoe buckle. You find the old articles of clothing. Suspender Deep clip. Deep and repeats. That's Deep it. and repeats. That's it. And you dig? Relic mode. Relic mode. Gotta try it. And maybe I maybe I'll let's switch that. There's the new with the update. There's a Yo! To, uh... Oh, you got something? I got a weird hole. Okay. Like, Sorry, Phil. <laughs> Have a good one. Oh, you leaving? Yeah, I gotta go. All right, buddy. I've been going since six. Okay, gotcha. It's good to see you. <laughs> see you. I've tried relic mode. Um, it's got the square tones, and I like those square tones. Did you just dig to China just like me? Almost, but um... Ni hao. Oh my God, look <laughs> at that. There's like a hole down. You just... <laughs> okay. DB Cooper's under there. What the hell? It's like a hole down to the center of the earth. I've never seen that. That's like Im impossible. I told you I was going to find the weirdest. That thing goes deep. That thing goes deep, yes. Look at this. The pinpointer would still keep going. Let me see if I can get a stick. Holy crap. <laughs> that is... We found Jimmy Hoffa. Yeah, sinkhole, Colt the Chig. Yeah. 
Snake! 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 <laughs> Whoa! What the Dude. hell? <laughs> Yo, he just put that entire stick down. Did you? <laughs> what? There's like a cage down here. I feel like a magician. I, I don't feel safe with my fat ass sitting on top of this. <laughs> what the? F oh, hi, John, by the way. What? Yep, yeah, John's watching. <laughs> what, he texts you? Yeah. Yep. But this is metal right here. This is all, this is like a metal cap. And then, like, it, it's thick metal. Yeah, it's like an exhaust pipe that's like, what the hell? If it's oil, do we get to keep it? Uh, I don't know. Ask Rockefeller. Oh, dang. Well, that's interesting. Good stuff. I think he's about to show Jeff. Okay. Oh, man. I warned you I was going to find the weirdest stuff. Uh, you know, he, he, you lived up to that. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, that's interesting. I'm curious. I know th there's been videos where people send uh, GoPros down. That thing goes deep. I, I couldn't touch the bottom. He couldn't touch the bottom. It's mid range. We're getting silver today. All right, we're we're getting. We are getting silver. It's here. You just have to really be surgical. This is non-compacted dirt right on the top. And as I walk on it, it gets compacted a little bit more. But really, you need a team of Merrills and bulldozers and all that fun stuff. And lots of rain. But dirt like this, you'll get as far as... And as far as an air test, as I see it. Okay, this is an interesting one. So I'm, I'm calling, I'm calling a big bottle cap, because this is deep. And with square tones, this is loud. For anybody joining us, square tones, it lets you really hear the size of objects. And it lets you inference with that. This, I can tell it's something that's going to be larger, even though it's deep. Can't guarantee you that it's going to be something good, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be something that is bigger than a coin. And this isn't going to be huge, but... This is something that's going to be bigger. Rob is still uh, transfixed on that hole. And that, that's, I can't say I blame him. <laughs> that's fascinating. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, okay. We're going to narf this. We're going to narf. Let's see how fast I could make this donut disappear. Okay. Ready? Somebody start to time it. Okay. Got an eclipse going on, man. Mm hmm. <laughs> this is what you call speed eating. I do th I'm a teacher. I do this every day. 
half gone. I had them in the back window. I was worried mm -hmm. I was going to get pulled over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you hear him? That's hilarious. Say that again. <laughs> thought I was going to get pulled over for having them in my back window. <laughs> <laughs> they are in high demand. All right, here we go. It's disappearing. By the way, this signal here, I think that this is going to be another, I mean, like pipe, like as in big objects. So one more dig after. Is it, he leaves me the box of donuts. Oh my God. I'm fat, but I'm not that fat. Oh my God. Thanks, brother. Anytime, man. Donut is gone. All right, we're getting something. Yeah, I think that's gonna be something bigger. All right, let's go. Let's go. Coins have a very distinct sound. Very distinct. Let's stick to that. After we make that disappear. There we go. That donut was good. Oh my God. I wonder how Jeff's doing. Where'd you go, Jeff? Oh. No. What state? Oh, we're in uh, New York. New York. New York State. And very close to New York City. All right, I gotta get that silver now. Got the donut. Got a mouse fan. That mouse fan was epic. Yeah, key, uh, key fob, watch winder. Now we need to identify an old signal. That donut was so good. Now, this is where I got one of the silvers the other day. And actually, I should make a video about this because the silver was on its side and it, it had a specific, like I could hear it. Uh, I'm gonna have to put that video out. I'm not even gonna try to explain it here, but it was a unique signal. I'll dig this. Sounds small. This is like the mouse's fan signal.
This is a strange live stream. We've got all sorts of articles of clothing, <laughs> old stuff. But it's very, uh, different. Ooh, what is this? Look at this as I pull it. Oh, I saw the gold side. Yink. You wish it was gold, Meryl. I'm having a bizarre year. I'd say I'm at about 50 pieces of silver. Zero gold. Last year was the ultimate gold year. Mostly because the beaches are dredged now. Um, it's going to be a minute. I'll dig that. 79. And the Washington DC trip, I promise you, we'll have a video out this week. Um, that was a very different kind of hunt. But we pulled some really cool stuff. It's like stuck on a root. All right, that's below. Now oh, look at this. It's like an old tube top. Great. Well, you sure burn your Krispy Kreme donuts off in this hobby. That's the good thing. Go, go, go. Yo! I'm heading out. You're heading out? Yeah. I'm done here. All right. Didn't find anything? I dug like three holes all day. <laughs> you said he dug like three holes all day. Okay. All right, I'm going to stick it out for a little bit. Good to see you, brother. Oh, Jeff got skunked. Jeff is a beast, folks. And uh, that says something. This is some tough digging, but it's here. I seriously doubt I got the last two pieces of silver out of this place. All right, I'm determined. Good things happen when you get determined. This is an odd one. It just keeps beeping. Oh my goodness. Dan. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. What an honor. That's going to go towards the next round of detectors traveling. You know, try to teach about it. And uh, thank you. You also helped me <laughs> realize that this is a piece of iron here, too. Because it's all iron right now. But thank you so much for your generosity there. One detector that I want to get is the, uh, the Quest detector. They're coming out with the multi-frequency. 
and uh, I want to see how that rounds up. I, I keep hearing about Quest. I wrote them, they didn't write me back. My guess is it's going to be competition for the Legend, and we'll have the Manticore and the uh, Deus, too, uh, still leading the field for treasure detectors. And then <laughs> there's the GPX. Yeah, uh, 5,000, 6,000. That's on my radar. And uh, God bless my wife, let's put it that way. But she sees the vision in this also. Um, I'm, cr I'm trying to do, uh, you know, I rate metal detectors, which is in the midst of a big update right now. Um, I finally got to it this week. There's a reason I didn't put out the videos. Uh, I was really working on that, and I want everybody to be guided and uh, everything to be updated. So, I'm trying. That's the point. So, thank you. That's going to be something huge. Look at that. He didn't leave yet. Jeff didn't leave yet. The grass is a little bit longer than when I was here last week. I'm telling you, it's a little whisper that we're listening for. Seventy-four, seventy-five. Why not? Tab. <laughs> I keep getting lesser and lesser pull tabs though. They're becoming vintage items. Hey, Kep Valley, what's up? All right, after I find something else good, I want to get something relatively good. I'm going to do another um, Q&A. And I'll try to read as fast as I can. 
but let's get something good. There's no guarantees of that, yeah, but you know what? If that's the case, just at the end of the video, that's when I'll do Q and A. Um, I brought my uh, um, battery booster. So I, I could. Uh, I'm planning. I was planning on this being a long stream. Beauty is when you metal detect. When all is said and done, you can have minimum 10,000 steps in. And you're going to feel good. Even if you don't find anything significant. I'm going back to where I found that wheat scent that was really deep. Surface, nope. I have gotten good stuff at 88 with this detector. This is surface. My guess is it is gonna be one of those aluminum bottle caps. But something about the number 88. Jeff's going. What the heck? What the heck? <laughs> now, I don't know if you saw this. We just got a token, there we go. 88, see, it's obscure. Whoa. Would you look at that? And now I could do a Q and A. Darn it, no cash value, but this is an old one. Uh, a big one. This is one of the bigger tokens that I've got. I wonder how much it's worth. Oh, low cash value. Anywho, that leads to... Look at the color of it, though. Hold on. Ain't no such thing as a silver token. That's not a date down there. I, I have glasses now. And uh, I'm not wearing them. Um, Indiana Silver, I see your question there. And uh, lower the chatter on that. Well, I mean, I'm sure you know to lower the sensitivity. Um, my guess is that you're by power lines because it, it's really sensitive uh, to that. You could, of course, switch channels um, you know, but it, it's a combination of sensitivity and, uh, you know, also, what was the thing I said before? <laughs> Hold on. I was, let me fill, fill this hole and then put all of my brain power into answering that, uh, and getting away from the power lines. Now, the, let me tell you this, the one place that the manticore absolutely rocks, and yes, I do believe uh, I, I put out that video that said the, the mine lab was lying. I was way out of line with that, way out of line. Uh, I do think that it, it has more power, but uh, it's not really translating to more depth. So anywho, let, let me answer a few questions and such. Let's see. Ah, oh, Samuel, thank you so much. Go, 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 brother. Thank you. Hello, everybody. <laughs> So I'm here. Merrill, do the tree line. Okay, we'll do the tree line. Absolutely. Unless if the tree line is a dance. I can't do the tree line dance. I can't do that. I just can't. 
Every time I dance, people like leave the room and it's probably gonna be the same in a metal detecting video. So anyway, Kip Valley in the house. Let me see how fast I could read. Hey Merrill. Yes, sir. Finding a cave unlock strip club. Huh? Does finding the cave unlock strip club? He, he, he just asked, Rob just asked if finding the cave unlocks a strip club. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir, it does. It does. <laughs> he found the cave. Um, when are you coming to the UK to find some hammers? Hopefully by the end of the year. I was planning on August. And now it looks like August is going to get uh, pushed back uh, a little bit. Um, my son asked to go down to Florida. We have a place in Florida for uh, his birthday. And uh, that's what we're gonna do for that. But um, I wanna meet up with Nicola White. Uh, we had that in the plans. So hopefully December now, that's what I'm looking at. Let's see. What's up, Carlos? Metal detecting the Rockaways. What's up, buddy? Manticore that, Manticore this, it's getting boring. It's not worth the cost. I somewhat agree. I somewhat agree. I do think that it's the, uh, the leading detector that MindLab has out right now, and thus, you know, one of the leaders in the field. It's not really giving us something that much different in terms of performance. Um, you know, the more depth thing, I'm not really seeing it. I'm seeing it with smaller objects. Let's see. Busy digging, what's up? For some reason, I've never dug a token. Tons of silver, coppers, you got the good stuff. Tokens are fun. I like that one that we just dug. Laerte Lima, Detectorismo, what's up? What program are you using? Right now, yeah, I tried all of the programs on the dais and it brought me back to the very basic general program and I'm trying some stuff. Um, there's one thing, I'll get back to the questions in a second, but there's one thing that I learned that I didn't do. Uh, let me show you this. This might be, this is going to be old news to a lot of people. On the dais, I am noticing a big jump in performance when you go here. And I always thought a ground grab was uh, you go down to grab and I would hold the ground balance button, but it's actually this. You hold down the pinpoint and you do a ground grab and it really adjusts uh, to your area of the ground. And then ground balance you could do like this, it'll ground balance for you. But I kind of mixed the two up. You know, I studied hard on this too. I just really mixed that one up. Um, I'm back in general and I like, uh, I love the square tones. I put the square tones on, um, audio response, I turn up, I wanna hear those deep ones. And uh, I go as high as the, the, um, uh, the conditions allow. I'm at about 93 right now because, wait, oh yeah, I meant to go over there. Because power lines, we're right by power lines. It's not too much of a problem, but anywho. Um, <laughs> thanks to everyone for the thought. Yeah, isn't this awesome? There's a lot of smart people here. We got 349 people watching right now. We put our heads together. You get some honest opinions. And, uh, you know, I certainly share mine. And, uh, you know, you could really learn a lot from the audience here. Area 51, I live in a 1773 farm in Massachusetts and I found 22 large cents, two trime. That's epic. That's epic. <laughs> Congratulations, buddy. It's cold in December. Yep, it's cold in February too. Thanks, Tony. Trent's uh, treasure hunts. I dug a token from Seward, Alaska in Port uh, Coquitlam, British Columbia, about 2,000 miles away. Oh my God, I would love to dig the West Coast. Um, it, it has such a fascinating history with the, the various gold rushes and, uh, you know, people just taking the railroad trip across or um, even the, um, uh, the way, uh, you hear the Argonne Trail, but uh, there were a whole bunch of different American diasporas that moved that way. And in terms of drops, 
the, I, I really think the Midwest to the West is where you get gold coins in the United States. Um, I think we're very hunted here on the East Coast. Yes, there's a lot of older drops, but that's my two cents. Paul Martin, what's up? Hello from England. 9-2 Finder, what's up? Go under power lines and in bushes. No one else did. Ticks. But yeah, you're probably right. Um... I do think, I mean, I found two silvers here the other day. When are you taking the legend out again? I will. Um, I do think that the dais, even though it's ranked number one on my site, if you notice, I have a capability rating and I have an overall rating. The capability rating is just solely on performance. It doesn't factor in price. I think that you will get more capability out of the Equinox out of the Manticore and out of the Deus too. And every time I want to give myself the best chance to succeed, um, there were a few signals, uh, two that come to mind that uh, we stumped the legend on. Um, I know there's questions about the updates. I think it's a spectacular detector. I think it's the best value out there, uh, that and the simplex. But, um, you know, I, I think that uh, Deus two really day is two is my number one in terms of capability right now um you're going to see that updated on irate metal detectors this week um, but right now day is two is my number one i do love the manticore but it's not hidden shoulders above anything uh previously let's see all right you guys are talking to each other that's great yeah keep the conversation going there's a lot of smart people here Ironically, they're listening to a person that's not that smart enough to become a teacher, but you know, I'm no rocket scientist. I do my best though. Anywho, let's see if we can get some silver. I, I want to get some silver and let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next good find, I will be coming back and answering some more questions, but let's go. See, 88, for some reason, it always works out on this detector. Oh, I think we just got a question. Any thoughts on XP's Go Terrain? Oh, yeah, the app. I was looking into that. My honest answer is I have not done enough research on that. I was going through the book, uh, the manual again, and I saw that. I'm like, okay, you really didn't try that. Um, I can't talk on that yet because I don't know enough about it. That's the honest answer. Good question. I have a feeling there's a bunch of people answering that question right now. I also agree with what Metal Detecting the Rockaways just said. You don't get that much of a difference in performance between the legend and everything else that's out there. I totally agree. And if you consider that this is $1,600 in the legend right now, if you buy without headphones, it's $500. That's a big deal. <laughs> oh, look at this. 95. I'm calling silver on this. It's, uh, it could be a normal quarter, but you tend to get that separation. Usually you see 93 to 95 for the normal quarters, occasionally up to 96. But you very rarely see falsing this high. It's not going to be falsing. It's going to be something conductive.
and it is a quarter. It is not a silver quarter. Wah, wah, wah. Bad things happen when I call silver. <laughs> oh, well. All right, shoot, it's not tick time yet. Let's go. Let's rock. It's kind of a thick brush. But, let's navigate. That guy walking through thorn bushes. All right. We are right underneath the power lines here. It's performing fine. Got a nice old sign right there. Not getting much over here. Oh. That's something that's big. And note the thorn bushes. Note the thorn bushes stuck to me. Let go. As much as I want to entertain everybody. Look at this though. See this? This is fill in here. See the rocks on the surface? Let's give it a few more seconds. little less thorn bushes in here. Man, the coil gets... Oh, Lord. Sure, let's see what it is. And more importantly, let's check out the ground. I think I see it. Yeah, this is an old bottle cap. That's something that's big. Yeah, I can't swing in here. This is the type of spot you gotta go in with the machete first. That's definitely something big. There we go. What's that old Aerosmith song? Take me to the other side. Yep. Take me to the other side. It's there. It's, oh, not going here. Here we go. That's what we got in. Take me to the other side. 
Okay, sorry, Steven Tyler. That was bad. Mm. No, this was not where I got in. There's no way I'm doing Pilates in here, man. Come on. To get through. That was a bad idea. Yikes. And in the thorn bushes, we go. <laughs> Hit that like button. Hit that like button. <laughs> oh man, we're freaking stuck. I'm not stuck, hold on. I'm through this, I'm good. How did I get in? <sighs> I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll throw that. We will gently throw the dais. So gentle, there we go. And like a cat, we will slink through here. Like a cat. Like a cat. Ugh. Oh my God, we did it. Almost through. I was just a contortionist. Oh my God. How did I make it through there? Yeah. <laughs> Anywho. This is the more civilized side. Thank you, she digs. I think I have some thorns still stuck to my hat. That's okay. All right, Silver, where are you? Let's go. I am happy with the token. I am happy with the mouse's ping pong paddle. My friend pulled a skeleton key and we got a buckle and a, whatchamacallit, suspenders clip. I've never worn suspenders. So we got some good stuff in this live stream. We just don't have the skilva. Yeah, there's a part of me that wants to climb in here, but heck no. Bro, I just, I just climbed through the other side. I just, I just got stuck in a thorn bush. Here's Rob having fun. Oh, yeah. Go get it, man. Go get it. One of us has to get silver. I don't care if it's you or me. Yes, one of us. Earlier. You got one earlier? Yeah. He well, got one. Hold on. Can slow here. You pulled silver? Yeah. Now he tells me. Oh. Well, I mean during the live stream. Oh, no, 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 no. What I showed you earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah the two you showed yeah. me earlier. Okay. Gotcha. I know you pull silver. Well, you said nobody got the English silver today, so. <laughs> I took these a little literally. So. Gotcha. No, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> we keep looking, but that keeps the fun going.
This is the fun club, people. We climb through thorn bushes, d despite our advancing weight. We keep it fun here. Try on this side. I'm kind of proud of myself that I made it through that thorn bush. Okay, here we go. This is an interesting one. I don't think this is gonna be circular. It's showing deep. I think that this is going to be closer to the surface than far down. and I don't think it's gonna be circular. And I might be wrong, hold on. This could also be a uh, way that the coin is situated prevents a full-blown signal. Okay, this is an exciting signal now. Oh, I see it. I see it. Yeah, that's what it was. It was a coin on the side, are we on the wheat? I think we're on the wheat. Let's see if we could get the date on the front. Yeah, 1930s, wheat scent. That was to its side. And it popped out, I saw it pop out. Okay, there we go. That's what we gotta listen for too. And the dais is really good at giving you something with that, depending upon the depth. Now a lot of people just skip over those. All right. I wish I could go back and like edit this video and like put on Looney Tunes music when I was going through the thorn bushes. That would have been great. This is an interesting one.
In the plug. That's what I was afraid of. Anywho, one less piece of yunk in the ground. This gives me closure on this place. Because while I was on vacation, I couldn't stop thinking about this new spot where I got two silvers. Well, I don't think I got the last two silvers. I think there is a deeper level here that's been filled over. But, as you will see soon, I pulled better stuff on vacation. Here we go, 87.88, now 83. This is gonna be something interesting. I like this signal here. and below the plug. See, like I said, this is not gonna be something interesting. Told you this is not gonna be something interesting. Told you. You should listen to me. Yep. Oh well, on to the next aluminum bottle cap. an interesting old field. <laughs> they kind of do look like spent shells. Yeah. Hopefully when I uh, dig into one of them, it's not going to Venturing out a little bit. Larger in size object, which is probably a can. Uh-oh. 
That's what I'm waiting for, right there. Barely registers. Barely registers. guess is this is going to be a deep one. No. It's in the plug. silver but it's interesting yeah it's a it's a mouse bowling ball yeah this object it exists more in the mouse world than uh you know, than the human world. I'll, I'll have to say that. Oh, well. Yeah, sometimes those small objects can really trick you. Anywho, let's, uh, I guess we'll call that uh, a semi-good object. And, uh, you know, I've been really bad with, um, whatchamacallit, the uh, answering of questions. Valve stem cap. Cool. Pocket watch stem. That's cool. I hope so. Schwinn bike. What's up, Jacob? I really appreciate uh, those of you who have uh, stuck around. And I'm going to try my best to get something good. Dogstar Blazer, I owe you a video, brother. I'm sorry, I didn't forget. Mouse bowling ball. <laughs> you could sell on eBay. I think the landowner is going to need to get a cat. Hmm. Yeah, because of the mice. I get it. Hello from Ireland. I said Ireland. Ireland, I can speak, I swear. East of... Uh, uh, Veilite, London, Sacramento, Rivet, Rivet, Adventures in Dirt in the House. What's up, KD? How are you, my friend? Ken. I said that backwards, didn't I? I said that backwards. I sure did. <laughs> Everybody check out Adventures in Dirt. That's one of my favorite channels. Radu, what's up? Primos, what's up? Are you ever going back to the Knox? I, I have a video coming out where I did. And I'm really actually using the Knox quite a bit because of my hypothesis on the Manticore, which is depth wise, it's really identical. And we're talking of like the old Knox. From Brazil, what's up, Tabata? How are you? <laughs> J 
Just don't call me late for dinner. Ah. Listen, man, my, my multitasking abilities like reading and um, holding a camera up like this, they're exhausted right there, right there. That's why I always call you Ken. I'm like, wait, KDD, what, 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 what? Sorry, brother. <laughs> Finders, keepers, what's up? Well, look who it is. Anything? What'd you get? Oh, buckle tie. It's here. That's the thing. It's here. Nice pull, my friend. Nice pull. Everybody, this is Rob. Rob is awesome. Well done, sir. That's an old one. Yeah, it looks pretty good. That is. I want to find one of them shoe buckles. Those are cool. Oh, I love the shoe buckles. Those are amazing. Yeah, let's, let's take a good look at that again. It's pretty heavy. Yeah, that's... Uh, how old would you guys say this is? It's still here. And this is a conductive target, so... It's still here. Thanks, buddy. A billion years old. <laughs> One million years. One million dollars for that. One billion year old buckle. All right, let's make that final push. Let's try to get a piece of silver. If not, we had a good day out here. We had fun. And, uh, but you know what? Let's go honey badger. Yeah. All we got. And, uh, Call it a day. surface uh oh here we go that's what I was waiting for if I'm gonna guess this is gonna be a weedy we're on two weedies on the day But the signals that got me silver here last time were just like this. And don't get me wrong, the deeper it is, the less relevant the target ID is. And this is gonna be a deep one, I think. Oops. All right, we got it. I see you. Oh, it's a memorial. I bet that's an older one. Wasn't all the way down the scale. Yeah, 1964, so that's silver era. All right, let's go on to the next. Go, go, go. Here we go. No, I lied. Here we don't go. I just caught the corner of it.
Interesting. Getting a slight repeat here. That's what I'm looking for. According to the target ID, it's a 76, 77, but again, not really reliable for stuff that's deep. This could also be something small. It has the sound of something that is small. And the target gets faint the deeper that it goes. Let's see if it's in the plug or below the plug. It's a good sign if it's below the plug. If it's in the plug, it's something small. Apparently it's right here. Let's try that again. Below the plug. I think I see it. I do. And it is a shot bullet, shot boulet. I think this is uh, old, I don't know. I can't even read it. Who am I kidding? <laughs> Deep bullet, okay. It's from a deer killed, capped in the 1800s. Moment of silence for Bambi and on we go. My kids always bring it up. They, they notice the theme, the evil theme in Disney movies. Walt Disney and the generation of writers after Disney, they always kill the parent. It's messed up. This just has an interesting sound to it. It sounds a little bit bigger, but it's deep. And this is what the um, the square tones can give you. And it could be one of those bottle caps. Aluminum bottle caps. That Bambi used to drink in Disney movies generations ago. Could also be something interesting. And it was none of the above. It was yunk. Oh. Go, go, go.
I'd say we're in the home stretch right now. I'm trying to concentrate a little bit more. back to the tree line. Hey, thank you for those uh, 379 likes. That helps my channel grow big time, so thank you. I like over here because you got exposed roots. And I'm not in here. Uh-oh, what'd you get? Oh, you did it, there you go. There you go. Open her up. There we go. There we, you open it up. No, no, it's You found it. We got some skilva. I see an eagle. Wow. A lot of coins of eagles though. Which one do you think it is? <laughs> Which one do you think it is? Yeah, I'm not showing you. <laughs> there we go. Don't rub it. I won't rub it. Ooh, just made it. There you go, brother. Well done. Thank you, sir. Where'd you find that? Uh, I think I was on the other side of that tree. Other side of the tree? How deep? Yeah. Um, it was only like three inches. Oh, <laughs> that might be the mistake that I made. I've been going over... You know, yeah. uh, a lot of the stuff, three inches down. It was tight though. Gotcha. Yeah. So. Good stuff. Okay, that, I like to show people silver. There we go. 
There we go. Should we put that in the good pocket? Yes, sir. Congratulations. <laughs> that is Rob. Well done, Rob. Okay. All right. I feel... I don't know what it is. You, you kind of want silver to happen on videos. And uh, there we go. <laughs> we got a live stream with some silver. There we go. We can end on that. Let me, I'm giving a little bit more. I want to dig one more good signal. Oh. oh, let's dig it. I've been too picky. a fishing weight. We got a fishing weight. Rob swinging an Equinox. Equinox 900. We are proud owners of a fishing weight. There we go. How long we've we been streaming? All right, we did two hours. All right, let's finish with this. Yeah, I'm gonna call that a day. We got our silver. And let's see. So, oh, all right, so Rob, you, you, you got the silver today. Oh. You, you got the silver today. Well, you made me spend $1,100 on a detector. I better have found some silver. <laughs> I spent sixteen hundred on uh, mine. I found zero silver today. So you bring up a good point. But what's your unlock for that? What What are you going to unlock with it? Oh, I don't know. I haven't thought about that yet. All right. Well, take a few minutes. Think Maybe about a little it. Ben and Jerry's. I know you're the Hagen you Dazs guy. I, I so. like Ben and Jerry's too. But yes, I am a Hagen Dazs guy. There you go. Well done, sir. As for me, let's see. I might as well just dump all of this out here. Hold on. Let's go over. Let me just dump out my bag. I almost missed it too. There was a can in there. No kidding. So I, I was ready to cover it up and then let me double check. All right, I might have just lost everything that I just found, but you know what? That's the fun in digging it up. I would guess my highlights, cap, Bust a cap. This I liked. The token was pretty cool. Got a token? Yeah, token, no cash value. I also cool. found a mouse's ping pong paddle. Here you go. Yeah. Let me see. I don't want to lose the mouse's ping pong paddle. <laughs> Here we go. Oh no, this was the grappling hook. I found this before okay. we started live streaming. Where'd you find a fishing weight in the middle right of here. a field? That was the last thing that I dug. Like, really? Yeah. <laughs> right in the middle We're of the field. We're about 800 miles away from, from water. water. Yeah. I got a, here it is. This, this, no, that's not. That's a Zinkin. Where's the mouses? Oh, my God. Right, here's the junk. This, I don't know what the hell this is. But that's interesting. And that actually was surface. All right, so the two interesting things. Let's put that here. Four. We'll have a garbage bag. You found a golf ball, man. That's epic. 
is the, here we go. This, oh, look at this. This is from an old car. This is the mouse's ping pong paddle right here. See? Okay. It's an I old key, uh, pocket watch key fob. Okay. Yeah. I, I got too fixated on the deep today. And Story of my life. Yeah. <laughs> and this was uh, mouse's bowling ball. There we go. Huh? It's going to stay in my basement forever. <laughs> there we go. And a bunch of clad and fun stuff. But it's always fun digging. And you got, do you have your, oh, there's your skeleton key. You there's had a day, key, man. There's the buckle. You had a day. Well done, sir. Well done. Skeleton keys are one of my favorite things to find. I want to know who balls up these cans like this. They put that into the ground because it's it's cheaper than dirt. So they, they just like, let's mash it up and we don't have to put, you know, we don't have to pay for dirt. <laughs> yeah, fill dirt is tricky. Good stuff. Whatever this is. Well, folks, thank you for the uh, 405 likes. I truly appreciate that. It was a fun day. You know, you win some, you lose some. And uh, what was that thing? I don't know. What is that? I don't know. It was metal. Metal detector makes it beep. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know either. It looked like the end of a pen, but yet it's like slightly it was metal. purple. It's cool. Yeah, I don't know. I have to clean it up. Good stuff. Anywho, um, let me see. And if anybody has any questions. Yeah. Oh, there's the one that fooled me. <laughs> I, I love this comment. Hold on. I got to read this out loud and maybe tell this to my students. Hold on. I had fun. Your, vo your voice is always soothing to listen to. I'm going to take a screenshot right now. Listen, I'm going to take a screenshot. Oh. I just took a screenshot of that. And that's the first thing that I'm going to put up on the board tomorrow in class. My voice is soothing to listen to. Should they this choose the not to? Be. This was, oh, here, the rub. There we go. This is, uh, this was 1980. This can fool you. Good stuff. Good stuff. Anywho, thank you, everybody. And uh, many more to come. Thanks for having me. Yeah.